Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and learn about dividing fractions with Ms. Delgado, and this is with the Sun Devil Learning Lab. And let's jump in. So here is your introduction. You're going to need a pencil and a paper. I will go ahead and prompt you when you need to just work it, work on it on your own. Your objective is you'll be able to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. So here's a little reminder. I'm not going to teach you any tricks. I know that some of you might have already known some possibly a trick that you can use when you're dividing with a fraction um, but with this video I'm gonna actually try and teach you like what is going on when we divide fractions just to make it make sense to you because I'm gonna be honest when I was growing up all I was taught was the trick I didn't learn what I was doing I just listened to the teacher and that was what I was taught but now I know what happens when you divide so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys what happens when you divide with a fraction so here's our warm up. Carlos needs four cups of flour to bake a cake, but he only has a measuring cup that holds a third of a cup of flour. How many scoops of one third of a cup of flour does he need to make four full cups? So in other words, this is four divided by one third, and it's four because we need four cups of flour, and it's a third because that's how big our cup is. So we're gonna first just draw a cup of flour. So we don't have this, right? Because we only have a third of a cup of flour. So I'm gonna label this one cup of flour. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna draw our measuring cup. Our measuring cup is a third. So I'm going to kind of split this up into thirds, so there's thirds. So meaning that our measuring cup is about this big. I'm just gonna try and match it. So this is my measuring cup. Here's a little handle that comes with it, and this is a third. So what we're going, what I want you guys to realize is Let's not focus on this. I'm, I'm gonna erase that in a bit. Let's not focus on that. Let's try to figure out how many of these make one cup. So essentially what I'm trying to do is one divided by a third. And let's try to figure that out. So how do I make this into one whole cup? Okay. That means I can do one third plus one third plus one third. And how much does that give me? That gives me three thirds, which is also one. Meaning that, so this is one, two, three times. I have to scoop three times with my a third of a measuring cup to get one full cup, okay? And I'm gonna repeat that one more time. I need to scoop with my measuring cup three times that holds a third to get one cup, so one divided by a third is three okay so with that information i know that one cup so this one so this let's look at over here this cup right here it takes three scoops in order to make one whole cup one two three with our measuring cup meaning that if i had four more of these because let's go back to the problem now. Four divided by a third. If I have four more of these, what I can do is I can multiply three times four. And I got the three from how many scoops we're doing with this cup. Okay? So, and then we multiplied by four because we need four cups of that. So, three times four is twelve. And I can even draw it out for you guys. So, here's one cup, two three and here up here is four and remember we only have a third of a cup and we're trying to figure out how many scoops do we need in order to um, make four full cups with a third of a cup so here I have my all of my cups cut up into thirds so now we're gonna cut count up all the pieces so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and there's that we're going to continue working on this. Do not worry. So here's our first question. Okay. 
A principal orders eight sub sandwiches for a teacher's meeting. She cuts the subs into thirds and puts the mini subs into a tray. How many mini subs are on the tray? So let's try to figure out what the division problem is. We know that our total is eight, but she cuts the subs into thirds. So I know that this is eight divided by a third. And so we wanna figure out how many mini subs are on the tray. So with this model, and go ahead and copy this, I'm gonna actually use, I'm gonna use both a number line and a, a rectangle. So here's my long rectangle. We wanna make this long because this is a big sub. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this up into each subs. So here I have four subs. But here I have, I should have eight now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here I have eight subs. You, again, you can also use a number line and I'll do that right at the below it. And I'll go ahead and label it. There you go. Okay, so she cuts the subs into thirds. Pretty easy, right? We're just gonna cut these things up into thirds. I'm going to put zero here. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. This is zero. So this one's zero, just because at this point, that's zero. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Makes sense, because this is where eight ends. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to now cut our subs into thirds. So let's start with the top model. So I'm gonna cut this up into thirds. Just making two slices in each sub and that will make me three pieces. As you can see, one, two, three pieces. One, two, three pieces. Okay, and we're gonna do that as well with the bottom. Just gonna make little lines. And again, these do not, the two models don't, aren't like, the, they're not going to be combined for the answer. They're just different ways of solving it. And so, now that we've cut up our sub, we're going to count how many mini subs are on the tray. So, I'm going to use a highlighter. So, let's look at this one first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And see what we got for the bottom one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we also have 24 for our answer. All right, for this next problem that we're going to do, I am going to set it up for you guys. And then I'm going to give you a bit of time just so that you guys can take um, a second to kind of solve it. And we're going to do this together. So, Miss Leverens is doing an art project with her class. She has a three-foot piece of ribbon. She gives each student an eighth of a foot of ribbon. She will have enough. Will she have enough for 22 students? So, this one is interesting. So, we know that it's three divided by an eighth. She wants to give an eighth of a foot of ribbon to each student. But... The 22 students, I don't want that you guys to get confused with that, but this is what our quotient, this is what we want our quotient to be. And if you remember, and I'm just going to pull up like a typical, oops, don't want to do this one. Uh, let's do this. A typical, this is a typical division sentence. I just want to go over um, like what we label it. So the thing that's in the inside, the thing that's being divided, which would be the three in our situation, this is called our dividend. And this thing on the outside is called our divisor. Divisor. And the thing at the top is called our quotient. So when it says, like, will we have enough for 22 students? It's saying, is there going to be, is our quotient going to be 22 or more in order for us to have enough um, for all of her students in her class? So let's go ahead and get started on this. 
So 3 divided by an eighth. I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time. I'm going to first draw. You can do... Oh, that's not a rectangle. We're going to draw a rectangle or you can do a number line. Whatever you're more comfortable with. So I'm just going to do both. And so I'm going to cut my rectangle into thirds. Oh, I'm sorry, not into thirds, but here we have three different pieces of ribbon. And then I'm going to now label our number line. So here's one, two, three. Three feet of ribbon. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up into eighths because we are going to give each student an eighth. And so I'm going to first cut it in half. So that gives me two pieces in one foot. And then I'm going to cut that half into half. So that gives me four pieces. And then I'm going to do that one more time. Cut those halves or those fours into halves. Cut them in. Yeah. And then we should have eight pieces now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we have eight pieces in that. And we're going to do that for each one. And go ahead and take your time on this. I'm going to go ahead and do mine as well. And then I'm going to do it on the number line for those that are using it. And always make sure and double check if you're not completely sure if you had that fully. Make sure you have it just because if you don't, it will mess up your answer. Okay, so I have set it up for you. The next thing that you're going to do is count up the pieces. I'm gonna give you about a minute to do so. So count up all the pieces that you just cut up and let's find out if we'll have enough for 22 students. Go ahead. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what you guys could have gotten. I'm going to use um, a blue, and we're going to count up each piece. Let's start with the number line first. If you did that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we got an answer of 24, and let's just confirm that with the bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It is confirmed. So, so confirmed that it is 24 pieces. So let's answer the question. Will she have enough for her class of 22 students? And if we have 24 pieces, then of course, yes. Yes, we do have enough for her class. All right, question three. This one, it is your turn. Okay, let me just make sure, I feel like I always mess up on my presentation. So three gallons of a water to fill one fourth of the elephant's pail at the school. How much water does the pail hold? I'm gonna write down the um, division question. So it is three gallons divided by one fourth of the elephant's pail. All right, I'm going to give you about two minutes to go ahead and solve it and take your time. We will go over it once you're back.
All right, let's go ahead and come back. So if you do need more time, as a reminder, you can always pause the video and continue working. We're gonna go ahead and go over it right now. So three gallons of water fill a fourth of the elephant's pail at school. Oh, wait, sorry, of the elephant's pail at the zoo. How much water does the pail hold? So I'm going to do both the rectangle. You can either do that. I'm gonna actually do it with models. So I'm going to actually draw the three gallons. Okay, so here we have our three gallons of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up into fourths. So I'm going to first cut these right in the middle to make a ha two halves. And I'm going to cut those halves in half and it'll give me one, two, three, four, which is what I want. Do that to all of them as closely as I can do it to the first one, just so that we can keep it consistent. And so now that I've cut it up, what we're going to do is just count up all our little fours that we made. So we have one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we have 12 gallons that it can hold. So here is your homework. Uh, I'm going to read it to you for an art project. Miss Williams is dividing construction paper into fourths. How many fourths can she make from five pieces of construction paper? Okay. So we'll go over that in the next video, but I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is the Sun Devil Learning Lab in the math room. Our objective was that you'll be able to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. So hopefully we got you to that, but go ahead and do the homework and we'll go over it in the next video. Thank you so much.